Hey guys, my name's Karunt, welcome back to another episode of Besiege. This is an awesome game where you build machines to destroy and blow up other things, because why not? So, anyway guys, usually we hop on here, we build something cool, we complete some sort of level, and uh, some little objective or something, but I thought today we would switch it up, and I would, instead of building something that 99% of the time turns out to be a failure, uh, why not go on and look at some of the other people's machines and see what the community has sort of been making because there's some people out there who are building super awesome things and I can't wait. I can't wait to look at what they have, what they've come up with so far. So anyway guys, this is some sort of tank. This thing looks awesome and I believe it shoots fireballs which is pretty cool. Uh, down at the bottom we do have, you know, sort of the little tank belts going on. Oh man, we're sort of breaking it, aren't we? Okay, we'll respawn here. Um, so anyway guys, it actually uses the new features in the update with the water cannons. There we go, we'll shoot the water cannons. I believe we can push Z to like stabilize a little bit, but I didn't know this. Um, one of you guys actually told me down in the comments, but if you heat up a water cannon, it'll actually end up shooting out steam, and you can use the steam uh, to like propel things forward and a different little aspect to the game. Do we have flamethrowers on the front of this thing? How do we activate those guys? Oh, that wasn't it. Okay, how do we activate you? Oh yeah, there we go. We got flamethrowers on the front because why not? Okay, so here we go. I think we're ready for this thing to fire. I believe it just takes these little fireballs down here at the bottom and it just brings them up and then it shoots them out using the uh, using all the water. So we're loading it up and we fire. There it goes. Ooh, a little bit. Oh, we did we hit it? Oh, yes, we got it. We got the tower. Let's fire another shot. It'll be a warning shot. Oh, man. This is so cool, dude. Alrighty, so here we go. We're gonna try to aim up and hit this castle. We are taking it down with our tank that shoots like real bullets, dude. This is, this is crazy. I have no idea how they're doing this. Like, oh my gosh. How do you, how are they possibly taking a, a fireball from down here, picking it up, putting it over here, and then firing it? across the map. Oh no, our, our, oh, we caught a tree on fire. I guess fireballs aren't really, they aren't too powerful. They, they are not really able to take down a whole castle. Oh dude. Oh, no, nope, not too powerful. It'd be interesting if you could actually throw bombs with this thing instead of the fireballs. I guess you would have the hazard of them blowing up while on your ship. Can we get, oh yeah, we got one of those little guys down there at the bottom. So that was the first creation, a, a tank that literally shoots out flame balls. Oh my gosh, that is crazy, and we're <laughs> we're just gonna self-destruct. Okay guys, so this is something that's nice and simple, but something that I need to look at and learn how to do, because I can't build flying machines to save my life, and this looks something that, you know, this isn't the biggest, this isn't the most impressive flying machine there is, um, but something nice, simple, and hopefully something that I can learn to control, because oh my gosh, look at this, they're using like, oh my gosh, they are using all sorts of different things, dude. Oh my gosh, this is a totally complicated design. What am I talking about? Alright guys, so this plane is tiny, but oh my gosh, there is so much going on here. This is by far the most impressive part, this back part, and watch, it starts spinning when you're ready to take off. I know, I know, this is crazy complex and crazy cool. Um, there's so many just little features in this thing. Obviously, you know, we got our basic pitch and yaw and roll and all of that. All that cool stuff um, but he even thought you can pull oops that's not the right way or maybe it is but look you can pull your wheels up once you have taken off or before you have taken off because that's what I that's what I like to do um, there's also you can you can move in your little propellers here at the front you can see how they're sort of slowly spinning around and just there's craziness craziness like that dude we can even push H and sort of hop up on our Pop up on our piston pistons here a little bit, and maybe that'll help us help us take off. Okay, I think we're ready to do this. I'm I'm gonna respawn here because I might have might have messed it up. Okay, here we go. We're ready for takeoff. Um, we might want to H it and maybe get a little higher. Is that gonna help? Okay, okay. Can we? Should we pull down or up? Oh man, we're going for it. <gasps> oh, dude, take off, take off. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, um, we're a little bit to the side. I'm not the best pilot at this. All right, guys, so after some practice, I believe I found the secret. So obviously we just start taking off and we're all good to go. We can sort of, you know, control it a little bit. We can get up a little bit if we wanted to, um, but we can change the rotation of our, our wings and that seems to help us 
really help us take off, but where are we going right now? Where's our camera at? Oh my gosh. Oh man. All right. I think I've gotten it. I've gotten us stabilized. We're sort of flying. Um, flying machines are very interesting in this game. Go a little more to the right. A little more to the right. Oh my gosh. You could probably control this thing. Like if you had the right pilot in here and they knew what they were doing. Um, there's so many, so many controls here, but I just have no clue. No clue. We can control this guy as well. And that'll, oh crap, I think. Oh, and oh, abort, abort mission. Guys, I think I found a new motivation in life. I got to figure out how to pilot this thing, dude. Oh, that's not how you do it. Alrighty, alrighty, we're up. We're up in the air. We're dropping, we're dropping things. I don't know why. Okay, let's practice not, oh, why did we just... We just combusted, dude. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad fall. All right, all right. I think we found a nice, a nice comfortable pace to set at. Can we turn? Can we turn a little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little turn. There we go. There we go. Wait, that's a big turn. That's a big. That's a. Oh, dude, a 180. Yeah, I meant to do that. And I dropped a little bomb. All right, here we go. Let's practice some. Um, okay, let's maybe. Oh, go up a little bit. Up a little bit. Okay, okay, we'll rotate you. There we go, there we go. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's practice putting up our wheels. Just like that, boom. We aerodynamic yet? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, so something that would obviously be really cool. Nope, we're sorta, we're not going fast enough, dude. Oh man, oh man. Oh man, we're barely going fast enough. Should we change our, our wing angle a little bit? Just a little bit pull up. We're not pulling up. We're not. Oh, we just barely, we barely skimmed the ground there, dude. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going in circles. <laughs> but it would be super great if we could somehow add some sort of bomber to this thing. I think that would be cool. Like just being able to fly by and you know, oh, I accidentally took my hand off the, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. Meant to do that. Meant to do that. Maybe I, I keep forgetting. Oh, that's a sc <laughs> I keep forgetting what buttons are which, dude. Okay, well, we had a little bit of an emergency landing, but it's all right. We meant to do that. We meant to do that. Okie dokie, here we go. We're taking off. Taking off at a nice speed. I think I got this. I'm feeling I'm feeling good about this flight, dude. All right, we're going to suck in our wheels. We got that aerodynamic going on right now. Okie dokie. Here we go. Here we go. We'll turn this way. I think this is this is our best run that I've had so far. Oh man, I know what's up. I know what's up, I'm controlling a plane, look mom, I've, I've officially made it. Okay, well, I don't really know if this has enough speed to do a loop-de-loop, -loop. I'm kind of scared to try it, um, but hey, would you look at that, we actually, I think this is the first time that we have control of the plane, so I call that a win, oh man, okay, we got speed, we're doing the loop-de-loop, -loop. oh my gosh, if we can pull this off, no, no, we're so close, oh man, can we save it, can we save it from this? Oh, I don't know if we could save it. I don't know. Oh, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We stalled a little bit, but we managed to do it. I don't think this thing is capable of doing a whole loop-de-loop -loop all the way around. Maybe some sort of, maybe some sort of corkscrew. You want to try a corkscrew? Okay, let's try it. Let's try a corkscrew. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, keep going. Yes. And it's, it sort of blew up. Oh, at least we killed some people. We killed some people in the try, but there is the airplane. Not very capable of doing a corkscrew, but very capable of flying around and being awesome. Alrighty, guys, so this is a very interesting concept that I actually haven't seen before. So this guy, yeah, it's magically floating. So it's going off of um, zero gravity. It is just, it is magically floating here, and it's pretty cool. It's got some nice, um... Some nice, look at that sheep just going out there, man. <laughs> I didn't even know zero gravity was a thing, but this is some sort of spaceship. It's It acts a lot like it's in space, and it's just, it's really cool. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it and sort of pilot it. It says it's made for, you know, sort of the slower travels, the slower travels of space. So we're going to be patrolling the galaxy with our spaceship. Oh man, okay, we're going a little, a little too fast. So. It uses, um, I think, I don't know, is this using the water guns? I believe it's using the water guns to actually propel us. And then it's got these spinny things on the front to where we can, how are you doing there, chicken? Should we try to, let's try to hit one of the chickens. Okay, okay, we're swooping around. We're swooping around. Let's go forward. Let's go forward. Oh, man, a little bit, a little bit to the side. We need to go a little bit to the side. This thing is super hard to control, man. 
How are we ever going to hit that chicken? Oh, and now we're just backwards. Oh man, honestly, this is one of the hardest things that I've ever operated in Besiege, and we just flew some sort of very complicated plane. Uh, I don't know why this thing is so hard. It's, it's so much like we are in outer space right now, and I just have no idea how to control this thing. Okay, let's try to hit, let's try to hit a sheep. There's a sheep right there at the start. We're just gonna go in for the kill. We're gonna hit it. Did we get it? Yeah, boy! We already have a kill. Up, oh, and now we're gonna sort of spin out of control. Maybe there is no backwards for this machine, which is also pretty interesting. So we're gonna have to sort of do a 180 maneuver here. It is pretty, it is pretty intimidating though. Okay, so the way to roll with this machine is to just take it slow. You gotta treat it, you gotta treat it like a baby. You gotta go very slow and very gentle. Oh, that wasn't gentle. That wasn't gentle at all. Okay, let's just add Nice little burst, nice little burst. Let's go down a little bit. We gotta go down. Okay, okay, maybe left side a little bit, left side, right side a little bit. There we go! That's what I'm talking about. See, we got some, we got some operating. We got some nice operating going on here. Well, I am beginning to change my mind about how difficult this thing is to operate. Oh man, I'm forgetting what, which buttons to push. Okay, but it's really, it's not too difficult as long as you take it slow. I think taking it slow was the big secret. Oh man, we're not going too slow right now. Um, the sad thing is there isn't really a whole stop button, so I can't really stop and I can't really go backwards. That's the only, that's the only places that I'm really having trouble with right here. Okay, we're gonna try to, okay, we're gonna try to go down here and we're gonna try to hit some of the, let's just try to hit those guys in front of us. So we need to sort of go... Sort of go down. No, not up, not up. Oh, I forgot which button was down and which button was up. One thing that seems to be very difficult with this guy is I don't remember which side is up and which side is down. I find myself, you know, just pushing up and down and when I'm trying to go down, I go up and go left, I go right. So in that, in that factor, it is a little bit confusing, um, but it's definitely manageable. Is that a cow floating out in space over there? What is that? Oh, that's like, that's part of the statue that we just destroyed for some reason. There's our spaceship. Going in crazy directions. So yeah, that was the um, that was the Star Chaser little crazy guy who works at zero gravity. Okay, guys. So I think this has to be my favorite machine that we're gonna be playing with in today's episode. This thing is some sort of rhino, some sort of bull. I have no idea how somebody was able to come up with this thing, but oh my gosh, am I impressed? Like, look how epic. This thing works, and it walks on four legs. I tried doing something like this, I just ended up with like, I don't even know what I ended up with, dude, it was bad, but oh my gosh, am I impressed with how this thing works, and wait until you see how it walks. Uh, my favorite part is that not only, um, so we'll, I'll show you how it works real quick, so you gotta, there's a little fan, so that way it goes forward, and basically, you just start walking like this, and you can sort of run and sort of walk, um, not only that, but you can also control the direction. So if you want to, you know, go right or left. Right now we're going sort of right, and then we can go left and, and you know, wherever we want to go. So let's try going this direction, and then maybe go this way a little bit. There we go. We know what's going on. We know what's going on. So I don't think I'm the best pilot at this. This reminds me a lot about Quop, where you got to sort of control the different legs, and yeah, it's not the most even. But hey, we got a robot dinosaur. Oh, we're being attacked by miniature people. Run away. Run away from the miniature. Sheep, watch out! Oh, I just crushed my brother and my brother and animal. Can we actually walk up slopes? I don't I don't believe so. But my favorite part about this is that he actually managed to add cannons to this thing. So, oh boy. Okay, calm down there, buddy. Calm down. Wrong way. Wrong way. Let's try to go this way. Up. Oh, we're sort of slamming our head. Though the soldiers are just watching this giant robotic dog slam into things. Okay, so let's. Let's try to fire at the soldiers. We're gonna turn around here. Oh man, excuse us, excuse us. Please don't dump oil on my face. Oh my gosh, you're dumping oil on my face. Please don't, oh. Dude, don't do that. Don't do that, oh, you hurt him. You hurt him, why did you do this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this thing looks great. You can kind of make a jump like that too if you want to do both of them at the same exact time. Make it sort of like it's leaping. I guess that's how you run with this thing, huh? And then you can even like sort of turn your direction like this. Oh my gosh! Watch me stomp on all of you fools. Oh my gosh, this thing is awesome, dude. Look how cool this looks. Oh wait, I'm not even pushing F. Here, let me push F. Okay, 
Now we're running. Now we know what's up. Oh my gosh, look at us go, dude. We can change the direction and everything. So not only does this thing, you know, look amazing and it also functions pretty well. Like, oh my gosh, look at us go right now, dude. Okay, I gotta keep remembering to push the keys. It is a little confusing. <laughs> a little confusing to operate, but holy crap! Somebody made, like, a, a bull that can, like, run on four legs. And not only that, but there are also cannons attached on its back, which is pretty nifty. Sheep, why are you trying to attack a giant leaping tiger? What are you doing there, sheep? What are you doing? I'm having a little troubles controlling this, buddy. Okay, so let's, let's try to fire at something. Let's fire at these houses over here. All right, so we're going to, um, we're going to sort of try to go up and a little to the right. There we go. And aim. See, super easy. Super easy to control. And then we can fire the cannons. Yes, take that. Oh my gosh, we actually hit the bomb. Wow, I, I meant to do that. What are you talking about? Of course I meant to hit the bomb. And then we can just plow in there. Yeah, no, and get this guy trying to run away. What are you doing, buddy? There's a giant mechanical cat coming after you. Oh, I'm a bull. I'm a bull. Oh my gosh. I don't know how he managed to do this. Can I actually catch up to him? I'm not the I'm not the fastest runner. Maybe we can go like this. <laughs> I'm like walking as fast as I can. Okay, oh crap. We're we're losing him. We're losing him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Stop running away. Alright, I figured out I figured out the fastest. This is how you run with him. Here you go. Oh, nope. Where are you going? I missed you. I missed you. We're gonna have to do a double take. Alrighty, here we go. We got a bull. We're just doing the little a little shimmy and a little shimmy and I think he's this way up oh, there he is there he is we're coming for you we're coming for you and then you just gotta you just gotta baby steps baby steps that's the trick that's the trick oh wrong way wrong way wrong way this guy really does not want to be attacked by this giant mechanical cat thing running after him but he has no choice I am faster than he is and I will catch him here I'm so close yes haha <laughs> take that take that so I think this is by far the coolest thing I don't know how they made a cat um, but oh my gosh, this is so impressive, dude. Um, so anyway, that's about all I have time for. Um, oh, I'm sort of in a block right now. Tell me what you guys think of me, you know, sort of just trying out other people's creations and stuff. I thought it was definitely, did you just jump? Is he trying to ride me? He's trying to ride the cat. Does anybody else want to, here, hop on. Yes, hop on. All of you, hop on the cat. Hop on the giant mechanical cat, because why not? Oh my gosh, they all want to ride, dude. It's like, uh... Oh, it's like a horseback riding. Look at them all. They're all just jumping off. <laughs> Jeez, what are they doing? Why? Why do they just want to bounce? I don't know. I don't know, dude. But yeah, this is this is super cool. Like, seeing what people can actually come up with is just crazy. Like, I have no idea. No idea how to even do this. So, tell me what you guys think. If you want to see more episodes like this, where we sort of, you know, just play around with all the crazy inventions and creations out there, um, or if you'd rather see me, you know, build my own stuff and try to complete the levels because I'm personally, I'm having equally amount of fun. Oh my gosh, we just caught on fire. Look at this. This bull can literally run through a bomb. How is that even possible? Oh, have I spoke too soon? Are we, or no, we're still in one piece, aren't we? Oh my gosh, how did we just survive a bomb? I don't even know. Um, our, our little fans didn't, so now we're having troubles going forward. But yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Tell me if you guys think I should do um, more videos like this, or would you rather just see me, you know, complete some sort of level, some sort of level in Besiege. Other than that, my name is Crew. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Walk right into a, a village like this. So, oh, look at that. Why did that guy get blown up? Oh, Yakovin spinning off in the... <laughs> Poor Yakovin. Maybe we are tossing animals into buildings or something. I don't know what's happening. But I'm thinking if we walk up to a thing and then we just pee it. Oh, yeah, look. Booyah. That guy just takes... Uh, takes